Dark falling deeper. Cold nights, I'm not too scared. Hello everyone, I am eating my breakfast. I'm eating the Chobani Flip Almond Coco Loco. And I'm also re-watching my Mr. with IU. It's so good. It's one of my favorite dramas. This is how it looks. You literally just flip it. I woke up at 5 a.m. today, so it's it's been an early morning for me. I have my therapy session in a few minutes, so I am eating my breakfast and watching some K-drama. Alright, it is almost therapy time. Wish me luck. I'll be back. I got the new iPhone 15. I heard this one has a more seamless like zoom in and zoom out on the camera. Ooh, this color is gorgeous. Wow, this is the new titanium color. It's so sleek and chic. Oh, nice. It's a lazy Sunday. I'm laundry. I'm having a lazy Sunday, just being in bed, and I'm contemplating if I should take a Pilates class later at night today. We shall find out. I don't know about you guys, but I get cold very, very easily. I'm going to set up my heating mattress. Hello everyone and happy Monday. It's so cold now, I'm not ready for this. I'm going to make something warm. Um pang. Rice cake? In goes the skewers. Ta -ta. I'm gonna also make some changju dimbap. my changju dimbap with an egg. Mm. I got a lot of questions on this placemat, which I've been using so well, so I don't like damage my coffee table. The placemat as well as this cute bowl, which this reminded me, I'm watching Heart Signal season four and they were using the exact same bowl. They were gifted to me by a Korean small business. I'm going to have their link in the description bar if you guys want to check it out. I'm going to go for this. So good. Mm. Wow. What do you want? is the look today to go eat some fish, fried fish, gui. Also, this laser is little puppy coming soon. I'm so excited about this. A label here with Dobby. And this fabric is 
made in Italy. What are you eating? There's not much like meat in here. Fall is officially here. And before you know it, it's gonna be holiday season and then it's the end of the year. I don't know if that gets people stressed or excited. I'm kind of like half and half, but I'm here to show you guys my favorite pieces from Orate because Orate is giving my viewers a early access to their Black Friday sale. I wear their pieces every single day and I even have a collection with them as many of you guys know. They're high quality, ethically sourced, fairly priced, and they're female founded. First up, I gotta give it to my pearl necklace, which I wear a little bit too much but I can't help it because it goes with everything. I get tons of questions where it's from. It's from Orate and as well as my Diamond X ring. I just like how it's quite dainty, but it's still like a statement. And this piece is also so beautiful. It's the Diamond Connection. It's classic, dainty, and can be worn by itself or stacked. And then next up, we have this piece right here, which is stunning. This is actually customizable. It's a green emerald and white topaz pair, both in the matching earring and necklace. And then moving right along, we have the tennis bracelet, necklace, and baguette eternity ring. It starts under $200 and it's just so beautiful. And I can imagine myself wearing this for the holiday season. It's gonna be sparkly. And last but not least, I cannot forget to mention my very own collection, the Tranquility Collection. So you can use my code MC Exclusive for a 30% discount code, no minimum spend. No one else is getting this. I repeat, no one else is getting this before their sale kicks off next week. I got these cute, what do you call these? Like Mary Jane loafers. They're from Margiela and they're actually quite comfortable, believe it or not. It's raining, it's gloomy, but we are about to get honchin, which is Japanese ramen. There was an availability tonight at the Williamsburg location, so that's where we're going. And why am I so out of breath right now? It smells so good. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> Go for a walk. <laughs> oh, yep, he's up. to Grand Central because I wanted to stop by the Apple store to trade in my old phone. But yeah, today's just like one of my free days and I'm just hanging out by myself. And then Kristen is in the area. She's gonna meet up for a quick bite. So yeah, it should be good. Can you guys tell how amazing this weather is right now? It's actually kind of hot. Yes, I am wearing my LP blazer again. It's like a perfect jacket to wear in this weather. Um, I'm about to head out to the dry cleaners 
to hem some jeans and then i'm also i like woke up too early so i'm having a hard time staying up i like dozed off earlier so i want to get a coffee and i actually want to try the pumpkin spice latte i can't remember if i've tried it or not i don't remember what it tastes like so that's the plan just got the price quote to tailor two jeans. It was $90. I think I'm just gonna ship it to my mom and have her hem the jeans for me. All right, well, I'm gonna get my coffee. Hi. Can I get a pumpkin spice latte? Is it possible to make that ice? Pumpkin spice latte? Absolutely. Yes. Ice with cream on top or no? Uh, no, thank you. A little puffy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very cool. I'm reading the letters that I got from my meet and greet and they're so nice. letters oh <laughs> oh so nice oh my gosh during this meet and greet i've had a few people actually come to me and say like oh me and my mom love watching your video together <laughs> to be honest like i don't think i have it in me to keep making videos if it weren't for these kinds of words because as much as the internet is a great place it can also be a very scary place you feel very vulnerable putting yourself out there but i'm glad my videos are reaching to such amazing people and for you guys to feel like you are connecting with me it means so much to me so thank you a lot of my og viewers who have watched me from the very beginning you have seen me graduate from college move to new york and you've basically seen every part of my life since my early 20s now i'm reading letters of you guys saying you watched me since you were in high school and now you're graduated you've moved across the country and now you're going to grad school or you're working and I'm not gonna lie, that makes me feel a little old, but also that makes me so proud and so happy and I'm so honored to have been part of your life. It's like we're both kind of growing up together. Might as well just do a little chit chat talk because we haven't done one of those in a while. Catching you guys up with where I'm at as I was getting in my fields reading these beautiful letters. I feel like I'm in a a little bit of a new transitional stage in my life where I've kind of moved past the, you know, the early 20s, like learning how to rent an apartment or how to use a dishwasher. Dealing with loneliness in a city where you don't know anyone. Just learning how to feed myself. Learning how to learn from bad personal finances and making good habits. Things like that. I feel like I've, I'm kind of growing past that. Back then, I was like really focused on taking care of myself. But now I feel like I'm at a stage in my life where not only do I need to care for myself but i feel like i have this responsibility to take care after my parents every time i see them i feel like oh my gosh my parents are getting older a lot of thoughts a lot of kumin you know what i mean <laughs> growing up is so scary uh, this this whole thing is very weird i feel like as i'm getting older I am starting to relate to my mom a lot. I always thought like some of the stuff that she said when I was younger, I was like, oh, it's chan sorry, like so annoying. <laughs> but now that I'm getting older, things just, I understand her better and I, and I get why she says certain things. And now I feel like our relationship has just become more of like, we're just like friends. I know I said a lot, but I felt like, you know, I need to catch you guys up on what i'm doing what i'm thinking about because this these reading these letters just reminded me of like you guys have been part of my life in every stage so um yeah this is like a new slightly new stage of my life and 
I want to fill you guys in on it. Goal for the next year is to hopefully have my parents not work. Their bodies are getting definitely weaker. So it just worries me a lot that their body is not able to handle that kind of work anymore. So excited to take you guys along. It'll be definitely scary for me, but um, it should be exciting. So yes, thank you for tuning into my little TED talk. <laughs>